Welcome back to Peglin. Once again, playing with the Baladin, a fun character to return to. I actually was not a fan of the Baladin before seeing 1.0, but I've really come around on it because it feels so much more like a fully fledged character at this point. Like I'm talking, it just seems to have a lot more like actual complete synergies. It doesn't feel like it just has the one synergy of Bulwark, you know? It feels like it has another couple ways to approach it. Right now, I'm just taking it easy. I actually don't mind them not hitting the bombs because ideally, I want to be hitting the coins. Like, I'm even... Well, well, yeah, I figured that would happen eventually. I want to get the coins so I can get some good money. Maybe an Electorb Magnet? Or I could upgrade. Okay, looking at a Chest Elite over here. I can go for the Electorb Magnets. I don't do that often. This doesn't mean I have to end up going to the right. Cool. And really, I'm just looking for anything fresh and new. New synergies, new items, new combos. Lots of fun stuff, I would hope. And at least I get to get rid of this spider right away. Got him. All right, you hit my armor. I do not mind, even slightly. Damn, actually, Electromagnet is way better than I remember. I did a great job of seeking stuff out. Ooh, and it leaves an enemy alive for me to get a few more coins. Say it ain't so. It was a good day. Oh, one short. <laughs> Another Elector Magnet? Just double down on the magnets? It could be a magnet kind of day. It's actually not something I use too often. So honestly, double magnets all the way across the sky. One short of upgrading. Oh no. I'm actually fine with that. Oh no, I'm not fine with that. That was unfortunate. Okay, rip chest. Well, I can still get that elite. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, so I got the this funny slime, huh? So apparently the idea of that slime is that if I kill it, it'll give me money. So hopefully I can hit enough bombs to wipe it out. And that's actually a good shot. Let's L get it started. Oh, but I might kill the other enemies too soon, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna go for a refresh here, just get enough coins or uh, pegs left so I can actually guarantee some sort of decent run out. Uh, it's gonna be close. Maybe a bomb? I don't know. Well, it's passing. Okay, yeah, maybe I should try to get the bomb. I would need two bombs at this point, though, because it looks like it goes. That's a shame. Well, definitely still want to get the bomb regardless. I think if I aim here, I hit the, both the front two. Well, it doesn't matter because there's no damage there anyway. Okay, let's try the, the pegnet or the, the magnet. Better be enough to at least wipe out the front guy. Good, it is. It's better be enough to wipe out the big guy. Ooh, it got them both. Very nice. No HP lost, pretty happy about it. As happy as I can be, despite missing the chest. Longer magnet, might be smart to actually upgrade sphere though. That's one of those things you definitely want in general. Echorb, I'm not in the mood for. That's okay. Well, I got a lot of coins, but I guess I missed the elite too. Well, this is fun, isn't it? Uh, I guess I'll be able to pick up a different chest. Uh, do I want to duplicate a random orb? Well, I guess better than duplicating all the orbs. Hopefully it's not a pebble. Oh, it's the Elector Magnet. It's a super Elector Magnet run. All right, so at least I'll get this chest. Um, I, I've been trying to be greedy for too damn long. Sometimes you just succumb to the greed, and that's okay, I guess. Peglin's a greedy game for greedy people. That's how it do go. Ooh, almost got that bomb. I got three back-to-back Elector Magnets, so that seems very promising. Pretty good refresh, actually, if you ask me. A stab over here. Whoa! Watch that just power slide itself. If I could hit a bomb, that'd be spectacular. I don't think I'm gonna, though. I right, take a shot over here. Oh, bomb, please! It softened up two bombs, but unfortunately that's not enough. I think it's gonna keep going at me. Okay, so this pierced the two enemies, so that means um, if the shot is decent, I could wipe out the back guy, but the shot was uh, not decent, unfortunately. This one's a little better. There's that bomb. Second bomb, please. Almost in there. Damn near. Alright, it's gonna get one last shot off. There's the damage. Owie oof my bones. Uh, yeah, I had to prioritize that bomb, and you know what? Uh, now I hit all. Very cool, very neat. Oh, XP. Research points. Chopping Bollock. I'm actually surprised this doesn't have an exclamation mark because I don't quite remember exactly this one. Like, the bottom part seems very new and different to me. Exciting, for sure. But it's not quite a shield build now, is it? No, it's definitely more of a magnet build. And I guess I'll upgrade that, make it a little stronger. 
cool. Okay, let the games continue. Magnets here, magnets there, magnets everywhere. Getting magnetized. Now I'm just going for coins, because I figure it'll, it'll die with time. Like that. All lightning is okay. Just upgrade magnets, I think. One at a time for a nice cheap price. Cool. We got the chest. Not the best pathing of all time. I got some must circle. Okay. Getting that elite fight is also a must circle. The toad. Increase my max HP by four. Kind of a bit of a pricey play. I think I'd rather spend my HP in shops. It's this again. It seems to be random whether or not that shows up, huh? You know what? I'm here for it. Almost got the crit. Damn, Neo, that would have been... Oh, that would have been a hell of a splashback. Well, here's what it is. Still decent. Start with this here. Take the shot in here, see what happens. Let's get the refresh, maybe? Okay, crit's not too bad. Uh, kind of a weird one. Okay, if I could get the bomb down below, that'd be perfect. I'm actually going to take this shot here. See if I fall into the... Nope. At least I wipe out that guy. I almost want to go for a sphere here. Yeah, go for this. Just make sure I can hit a ton of enemies, including the running away one. Uh, I don't think I can get it. Yeah, unless I had the spear, like, right here, right now. It wasn't happening. Yeah, because the bomb is just going to be a little short. Damn. There it goes. One day I'll catch it. My white whale. Well, alas. Ow. Rude. You don't, you don't have to be that rude about it. At least I got a few shots to wipe this out. There we go. Not too bad for damage. I don't think I'll need to heal much. Restore, though, could be good to get. And then, because it's early, I could get this and immediately upgrade it. Just stack max HP with this. I mean, it's certainly cheaper than spamming toads. It is going to be kind of crummy for the shop, but I don't mind. I guess I just buy one relic in the shop. Yeah, it's going to be tanky. Bulwark is gained, increase the amount gained by two. Bouncers contribute to damage. I do hit a lot of bouncers. And you know what? I'm gonna go for bouncers this time. It's not a Bulwark build. Cool. Anything good here? It's another fight. Okay, I definitely want to get Restorb going. Whoa, that's not where I meant to aim that. A little bit off. Okay, well now I need a bomb. I'm gonna try jamming it down this way. Almost. Damn near. Just need a bomb and a refresh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Use the outside there, huh? Kind of funny. Okay. Well, it shouldn't be too bad now. Yeah, the main thing is, I guess, get another bomb would make my life easier. Get the shot in here. This should probably get there. Okay, with no bomb. Take it easy. Nice, got that. So these together. Actually, not sure the best way to go about this. It's probably not that. You never know. It can surprise you sometimes. All right, softened up a bomb. We've got two bombs being pretty soft right now. Maybe this will... No! Oh, to get magneted away. Please, bomb. No. Okay. Still hanging in there. That's fine. Bomb saves the day. No HP loss taken. Why can't you actually save my money for the shop right now? I can buy two relics this way. And so... Ooh, I have turtles. Definitely one of those you want. For more options. Otherwise, extra gold? That'll take a long time to pay off. I actually may just go for the remove here. Get a pebble out of my deck. Do I want, want an ore bust? Just gets a little bulwark and must circle. I think I want to kind of go all in on the magnets. I'm not sure what kind of synergy, ooh, this guy can offer the magnets, but you know, we'll see what Peglin has to offer. I mean, it just got rid of another pebble for me, so very overjoyed by that. I feel like magnets gotta be at least halfway decent at this fight. Like it's it's searching out the non-balloons. Love to see it. Seeking a crit. Yeah, that is excellent. Farming that max HP. Okay, damage. Neither here nor there. See if we can get inside for the bombs. I cannot. Okay, cool. Okay, get inside here for the bombs. There we go. That's a good one. Oh! Strong magnet. Very strong magnet. Banger shot. Love it. Okay, take that again. About to heal full anyway after this fight, so whatever damage I take does not bother me. Even slightly. I'm on the inside. 
actually gonna go for just coins, as I, I, I know I'll live. Coins it. Oh, live at one. Love it, love it. Okay. That's as good as I can do. Definitely going for an upgrade. Go on this other magnet, spread the love. Yeah, four of a vacation, I remember. If I really want to go for a heavy shield build, that other orb that I came across could be interesting. Ooh, multi-ball. The leaf. Leaf is interesting with magnet, isn't it? I kind of was curious about the 8% of pegs. Is this time for a leaf build? <laughs> I don't have synergy. Well, the magnet's not bad. And plus 8% is different. Defresh potion? Wait, this is a little different too. Boards contain half as many refreshes, so I would only have one refresh because I have a bonus one. But the Morbid's really powerful. Actually, I'm curious about Defresh Potion here. If I had some pre-existing synergy that wasn't Magnet, I would go for Leaf. The downside with Magnet Defresh Potion is that, well, Magnet probably will still go across a lot of empties, even accidentally, even though it's being magnetized towards other stuff. Morbid's just one of those fun things that adds up. So you know what? I'm gonna do it. And having one refresh is fine because I have all these magnets. Okay, it's interesting looking boss. This is, this is a slightly different uh, morbid thing for me. So let's try it out, see what kind of damage you can build up to. And already it seems like it's doing pretty solid. Please one shot it and not me. Okay, good, thank you. Um, I don't love this. I may actually gun for the refresh here. Just, oh damn. Yeah, I figured it'd hit me back, but it's not too bad. Yes, got the refresh, so it hurts a bit, but that's fine. This will get him good. Hit him with the Morbid. The beautiful, beautiful Morbid. Well, I would have refreshed the exit, would have been perfect, but thankfully still a lot of stuff here. Nice XP, love to see it. Take it on here. Can I get to 913? I believe not, ow. Rude, how dare you. Okay, that's, that's fine, I'll, I'll, I'll heal it back over time. Like, I do have that one orb that heals me, so I'll, I think I'll be okay. Pultorb Geist. I don't have many stat buffs. I don't remember if this enemy has AoE. Yeah, I don't remember it. I'm definitely gonna upgrade. I think I actually go Sphere on this floor. You definitely want Piercing. And actually, Pultorb Geist is good on this floor, especially with Morbid. Okay, you take Pultorb Geist when you see it. I probably should have upgraded it. Do I need max HP? No, I need a shop. Well, I don't need a shop. That's a tough one, actually. I think I go to the right. Shop up top. Right, so on a fight like this, I would like to hope that Pultrip guys can do well. Uh, you definitely need the AoE here. Definitely getting the bombs. I mean, it's okay. Now at least I can kill the back enemy with three bombs. The question is, am I getting three bombs? Am I getting any bombs? Well, I got one. Actually, that's a pretty good shot. Too bad it doesn't have piercing. But it is nice single target damage. One for the mass heal. Okay, that's, that's fine. Well, unfortunately, it can't be hit with two bombs now. Damn, that's good damage, though, too. Okay, at least I'll get a good sphere here. Sphere should wipe it all out, taking relatively minimal damage. Sphere here. That was not the sphere. God dang it. I really thought I was throwing the sphere for some reason. Well, that's embarrassing. Crits of balls. Does this really have an exclamation mark? Create all the fake crits. I don't know if I take it, just because I don't really have crit synergy. Okay, I definitely think I'm gonna need to heal, maybe? Upgrade Poltergeist guys, for sure. I only have one major healing orb. I actually would take other healing orbs. I'll just, I'll just go for the short heal here. I actually don't hate that. Well, nah, I hate it. Oh, I especially hate that. Not worth. Anything good here? Oh, okay. Neither of these are a pebble. Do I lose one Electorb Magnet in favor for a Poltergeist? I mean, Poltergeist is really good on this floor. I feel like I keep the diversity here, stick with maybe two magnets, level up the Poltergeist. I'm not happy about it. Would have loved to sack a pebble, but you know, that's how it goes. If I gain Must Circle, gain Bulwark. Interesting. So does this want me to make it a Must Circle build? Okay, one Relic Must Circle. Oh, that's another Poltergeist. I wonder if I ever just remove an orb here. I think I'm gonna thin here. Yeah, get the pebble out. I'm not in love with this shop, but I am in love with thinning out my deck. We like a nice slim deck here. Question mark navigation takes me across the way. You know what? Sure, it's question marks all the way down. Actually, this gets me more question marks, so why not? 
Ooh, duplicate an orb. Who do I want to duplicate? It could be Restorb, actually. Or second Pulte. Hey, call me crazy. I'm actually gonna dupe the Restorb here. I think that rounds the build out really nicely, and I still have a lot of other synergy. Question marks. I bet the Restorbs are right next to each other. I think I shoot Polterb, guys. Just hopes it maybe wipes out front enemies. Okay, it's one bomb away from going down. It's probably gonna spend his time healing, isn't it? Oh no, it'll actually attack me. Interesting. Well, please at least hit one bomb. And then my day will be complete. No bomb. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, gotta go for the piercing here. There's my bomb. And wiping out almost that enemy too. That would've been nice. Okay, well, take the heal here and the max HP and do it again. Let it be ass. Maybe hit the bomb, maybe not. Definitely not, okay, cool. All right, anything good here? Good damage, all into a shield, it happens. Rude. Let's go, Poltergeist. Yeah, I figured that'd be pretty decent. Ah, damn, still not lethal. Frustrating amount of uh, HP on that enemy. I don't think I need to heal though. And I don't think I'm gonna be coming across this shop. I think I will go for the elite fight. I believe then I can get away with just making this tier three. Carrying on. Forge, ooh. Yeah, I'll definitely take the forge with me. Any future orbs, just get to upgrade that very nicely. Anything good here? Plus one, plus one, that's excellent. Excellent, now I feel great against this elite. Whatever it is, Poltergeist will be solid. Uh, I think I just want to rush towards Poltergeist, but also hit Restored. Like, this is going to be ass pretty much no matter how you slice it. So just, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll soften up a bomb or something. Poltergeist is where the real fun begins. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this this map is practically made for Poltergeist. And that wasn't even a great shot, but it was still good. It's exactly what you want to see. Solid heal, too. Not going to be able to bring it home or anything, but... Okay, I guess I can go for the pierce. Yeah, okay. Very nice. Very nice. This build's coming together. Nothing too exciting here, but I can definitely upgrade my last Elector Magnet. Do I want to gain Must Circle? Do I, I don't know if I want to play with the added advantage. Unless if I get rid of the crit. I mean, Balustra could be pretty good, actually. Because it pierces all enemies. Grant's Must Circle. This is like not ass synergy. I'm gonna try it. Especially since the damage I took got to just be um, put into shields. Okay, it's this guy. Ugh, kind of scary. I'm not actually sure what I want here because it seems like everything's gonna be reflected back at me. Maybe I just want to deal damage fast before he can like do too much freaky stuff to me. Yeah, just try to deal damage fast and oh god, that kind of hurts. I think I go Sphere into Electorb Magnet. Is Lector Magnus just fast damage? Yeah, that's gonna hit back to 22. Now 5%. Is there a world in which I just lose here? 5% of 700 is 35. Okay, I don't lose, but I do hate everything. So hopefully I can just murder it. Okay, praise be. Kind of free here. I think I'm gonna take a heal here at this point. Jack Orb Lantern could be okay. Balestria tier, th tier 3. I mean, Jack of Lantern be would be Tier 3. With the Morbid? That's pretty solid, I think. Target any enemy. I do get hit a little. Oh, shots will pierce. Some will pierce. Okay, well, that mainly applies to Elector Magnet. But also, like, Restore and technically Sphere. I think I'll take this for the Magnets. Still got this fight before the boss. So I almost feel like I would actually want to start with the Jack Orb Lantern here. Just so I can actually directly attack past the shield. Oh yeah, Jack Overlander is quality quality here. Very nice. One shot that. Well, let's try. I think I'd rather just go Sphere here. It'll basically pierce all the enemies anyway. Maybe not all, all of them, but enough of them. You know, too bad it doesn't pierce them well enough. I guess I just go Electorb Magnet. Hope it gets to the refresh so next shot can be quality. It's going to be Pulte. Oh yeah, bring it home, Pulte. Come on. Damn near, damn near. Can't touch this. Uh, I'm gonna go Magnet here, since it's just one dude. Magnet, you're waiting to some coins, please. Maybe. 
Do I have anything worth upgrading? <laughs> just the pebble? No, thank you. I don't think I'll max HP. I also don't think I need to heal either. I think I'll just save my money for the shop. Ah, it's the painter with the knife-shaped paintbrush. Aha. I feel like Magnet has to be pretty good here, right? At least with Morbid. And just keep it all aimed at the, the, the boss. Do I want to gain max HP here? Yeah, I think I can be greedy. Plus, it gets it out of my deck. Ugh. A little awkward, though. At some point, I'm going to have to get rid of these paintings. Do I ever go Pulte? Prefer not. Mm, yeah, the dead pegs, though, definitely make things pretty tough. And he keeps sucking that up. I think I just go Poltergeist at this point. Just gotta wipe out the paintings now. Does it make the enemy stronger? It makes me poisoned with spinfection. Okay, noted. Well, I will go Balestra so I can also gun towards some other good goods. Also gain a little bit of uh, Moss Circle. Make my own crits terrible. Oh, you put up all the paintings, huh? Okay, Jack of Lantern time. See what I can get out of this. Pretty good refresh. Okay, that's, that's one of those shots that kind of keeps on giving. Very nice, very nice. Ow. Good heal, good heal, good refresh. Uh, this is a bit of a slog of a fight. Probably gonna need to... Okay, well, I drew it right away, huh? Guess it's Poltergeist time, whether I like it or not. Sometimes the Poltergeist chooses you, not the other way around. It's alright. But, ow. Yeah, this better be good. Come on, Magnets. Do me a solid here. Uh, I mean, it's my best damage. The Jack of Lantern's pretty good, too. It's just a lot to like. Alright, do not hit the crit if I can help it. I don't know if I can help it, but I will try to help it. Because, yeah, it looks like my uh, non-crit damage is real, real good. No, no, you stay away. You stay away from my sweet, innocent crit. Don't you dare. That's my no-no peg. Okay, good, good, good. What the Magnus say 9-9? Nine, nine. Zooey. All right. Well, let's bring it home. Come on now. 576, that's all I need. And that was just it. Perfect. And again, I'm saving one for the shop. You also remove a pebble at the shop, so I don't need to do the toad. More magnets, huh? Oh, it's the pendant. Ooh, I already have magnet. I think pendant's really nice for this. You take that. Screw critting. It's a minesweeper boss, eh? Mmm, okay. Oh, it's the mushrooms. Uh, I don't know if I want to give muscle circle to enemies. Ah, but it'll give good damage to me. I kind of just want to rush Poltorbgeist. This is risky. I mean, Magnet's probably good here, too. I think I'll rush Poltorbgeist. Yeah, because, I mean, they're... Well, they're buffing up regardless. Jack of Lantern or Elector Magnet? Elector Magnet will hit two. Plus, I feel like the Magnet's got to be good on this field, right? Well, if it gets sucked down there, then... No, I guess not. Okay. Come on. Eh. That was pretty ass. Although, not my best shot. But I don't know if such a good shot even exists here. It feels like it's just pain all the way down. Yeah, it's even more pain. The pain train. Like, I, I can never even get to the middle. At least I wiped out two goons. Okay, why is this fight harder than, like, most elites? Okay, there we go. Finally, Poltorb guy's coming in clutch. Zach, can I at least get rid of the front guy? No, but the back guy's gone. Ow! We have a ton of healing. But this is even the hard version of this fight, right? Like, it gets harder. Yeah, give him the max HP, and I think I will take a heal as well. Anything good here? When the board is refreshed, deal damage to enemies based on refreshes. Okay, definitely want the elite. A lot of fights, though. As long as I don't keep getting mushrooms, I'm all right. And thankfully, it's saving my ass. Right, this is a good Poltergeist board, for sure. Well, but 
momentum gets lost. So actually, I guess it's not that good, huh? Alright, who do I want to hit here? I'm actually going to go Magnet and then target this. To try to wipe out two enemies in here. Alright, this is a good Magnet board, so there we go. There we go, excellent shot. Perfect. And I get my nice heal here. Perfect. Couldn't ask for a better fight. It's the crits of boss. I feel like I should just take this solely to get rid of the exclamation mark. No, crits are bad. Crits are just straight up bad. No, that will wait for another day. No, no, why am I so bad at getting to the elites today? Oh god, this is worse than elite. Way worse. Uh, actually, it's not that bad. Considering I'm at max HP, I'll be alright. Yeah, this can seek and destroy some bombs. Kind of whiff at him, though. Or not get enough of him. That's good. There we go. Let's target the back fella. Have I hit a single bomb yet? I don't think I have, actually. Wait, that's wild? No, I did hit one. Okay, good. Crit it up. Not spectacular. I don't think Pulte is actually good here. But it did do good this time, so can't complain. Now let's bring it home. Nice, clean shot. I'm actually going to go for the pebble here. Almost got the kill. Hold on. Boop. No more self-damage. More max HP, and that's all I need. Okay, right from the get-go, you want the sphere. Just be able to get rid of the ranged guys right away. Once they're gone, ah, uh, this level's a bit of a cakewalk. Does that do it? And a boy, almost. Eh, good enough. One bomb away. Perfect. All right, good work. This is a morbid dream, this area. Right, let's see if I can manage to bum rush the other max HP gainer. I can. Very nice. Boop. Very, very nice. Alright, bring it up. Thank you. Very much. Okay, let's just keep getting tanky. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it ain't broke. I got the gambler. Nah. I, uh, it's harder to go left with this, but I'll see what I can do. Yay! There we go. Love it. If I have Bulwark remaining after battle, increase my max HP by two. Okay, maybe they'll get me a couple max HPs. Maybe they'll do fucking nothing. We'll see. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Okay. Hate to see it. Jack Orb Lantern, I think, is another one of those good ones. Oh, finally got the, the big peg. I don't know if I'm ever going to hit it. Oh, there we go. A little bounce. Okay, I should likely bring it home. Oh, but it didn't. It really didn't. Ouch. Well, there we go. He gives me a ton of muscle circle, a ton of self-damage. The self-damage it gains is equal to the ball mark. So I guess this is fine. Assuming I get this to... Uh, max tier which i am of course i'm healing actually okay with sasha focus just okay oh god lots of stuff going on balestra is definitely good here though give myself some moss circle and as long as i have a decent run out which i don't the attacking all enemies is certainly nice okay it's fine just wipe out one enemy one enemy per shot minimum that's all i need Fine. I got two. I had a schedule. All right, this, this wipes out a lot of them, hopefully. Okay, morbid looking solid. Atta a boy. All right, let's see if I can manage to make it to this uh, restore. Looks like I am just barely. Very nice. Yep, stop it. Okay, I need to deal some actual damage now, huh? There we go. Perfect. Hold up, guys. I think it's unnecessary now. I think now I'll just save up for the shop, try to buy the whole thing if I can help it. Mm -hmm. 
But that was a nice coin. Oh god, this is the fight I was worried about. So I do have a Balestra. Maybe that into Poltergeist. Do I even shoot Restore then? Like, I may just want to get out of here with my life. Let's so just take this and let it happen. Get some bombs. And hopefully Poltergeist can bring it home. Ooh, okay, that's not bad, not bad, not bad. I do get to wipe out the tall mushrooms, at least. Okay, and this will at least get rid of two enemies, so... That's that's not bad, that's not bad. Okay, I think I can even afford to uh, heal here, huh? Yes, yes I can. Okay, get the magnet in there. Alright, this fight for once was not too mean. <laughs> Another magnet? Seems a little unnecessary. To the shop. Uh, this better be good. For every 10 ball work I gain, gain a must circle. Ooh, a little recursion kind of. Sure, I'll take that. Walls and bottom bouncers are extra bouncy. I like that a lot. Bombs that in one hit. I think I like that more than removing an orb. Moving a pet ball is certainly nice, but uh, considering it's the mines we lost, I definitely want bombs to detonate in one hit. Yeah, that was worth it. Hmm. Okay, ideally, Pegnet can one-shot the first enemy. We'll see if it actually happens, though. Sometimes what is ideal is not real. I think it does, though. Yeah, all right. Good, good, good. I think I'm going to skip just to get towards Restore a little quicker. Of course, I may just wipe out this enemy anyway. And then it'll end. Yeah, that's a shame. Okay, but... There's not much else to spend my money on besides uh, heal and max HP. I'm quite the tank. Come on, Minesweeper boss. It's time to go down like a little bitch. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bounce off those walls. Actually, Poltergeist Mage's solo for all I know. <laughs> it might. Oh, come on, get a bomb here. Yes, yes, keep it alive. <laughs> Let's go. Huge, oh, the angles, it's beautiful. Yes, yes, is that it? No, oh, it's close. Oh, almost a one shot. Well, this is a pretty fun one to follow it up with. You do a lot of cool stuff with the Jack Orb Lancer too. Okay, nice fight. Morbid is as strong as ever. I'm glad I took Morbid. Leaf will have its time. But until then, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next Peglin video. Have a wonderful day and peace.